First up, Marvel's first flop. Shang Chi is out, everybody. <laughs> the the first would have been flop, but now it's Eternals. But for now, Shang Chi has actually done what many people thought well wasn't possible, and that's bringing the MCU back, uh, like really strong. Even though Black Widow already did that, but that was a weird one because it's like hybrid release. Shang Chi, obviously, theaters only, forty five days. Let's see what's gonna happen. Mm. What happened going into the weekend for its opening weekend was low estimates were like, it's going to open up with 25, 30. Most people were like 40 to 50. The highest estimate that I saw was only one outlet and nobody would even slap their name on it. They're just like, we're predicting 90. It blew away all that with 95 million. So... <laughs> And I, I appreciate the fact that when you were referring to it as a flop, you called it Shang-Chi, but then you went back to Shang. Yeah, yep, that's... It's I, I was... like, Shang-Chi's the flop, Shang-Chi's the powerhouse right now. <laughs> uh, in some multiverse that some people still live in, this was a flop, but not this one. Definitely not mm. this one. Um, I like how they all got called out. It's just like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by him? <laughs> by Simu himself. He's just like, let me tell you something. Wow. <laughs> With those stock photos, he got paid a hundred bucks for. Amazing, amazing how far he's come. And just <laughs> look, uh, this film, you know, I saw it, and quite obviously, I loved it. Uh, you know, I, I updated my list, and people are like, "Wait, it's really your second favorite MCU film?" I'm like, "Yes." I, I mean, look, I knew I was. Gonna I thought love you had it film. third. It, it, it's second. I I battled a little bit with the Falcon. You know, like you have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and I have the first Avenger always as first. And then like my number two has been kind of, it's fluid, right? With the rest of the Captain America yeah. film. So I'm like, no, no, this is going to be number two. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> See, even as this you know, quote simp that I get labeled with, this uh, <laughs> my, my, my ranking, not that I actually have a ranking right now, but if I did, it would, uh, <laughs> my number one would definitely change constantly. Yeah, it's it's hard, and I'm actually seeing this a lot. Of people are really talking about this. I mean, like the critics' score is high, the audience score is through the roof. Like yeah, everything uh, seems to be going good for this film. The box office was clearly a big indication of success. Um, like as a whole, I'm seeing so much positive buzz that I know what's gonna happen six months from now. You can just smell it in the air. It's like. Oh, it, oh! People will turn on this movie on a dime. It uh -huh. happened with Black Panther. It happened with, well, Captain Marvel started off with a lot of it, but yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> it, it will happen with everyone that's not white. Yeah, or a man. If you're not a straight white male, you're gonna have a flip flop. Uh -huh. Look at Star Wars. Star Wars had it. Oh, of course, of course. And you know, in regards to the future impact of this, like on the whole Marvel scope, and not just even Marvel. I mean. Let's look at the real big picture here of what happened. Shang-Chi opens up literally not 48 hours later. Sony's like, guess what, everybody? Venom! Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, boy, that was fast. Isn't that in the 1st of October as well? <laughs> yeah, they bumped it up like two to three weeks in every territory. Like, they, they know what's up. They, they want that money. <laughs> Which, if they were going to do that in the first place, why move Venom? <laughs> You why just... move it? Well, why wait? Why spend the money to move? <laughs> you think understand. Sony had an idea for this? They were literally just waiting for <laughs> Shang Chi, and then they believed all the reports of, "Oh, it's gonna bomb." So they're like, "Let's just distance ourselves," and then it doesn't. They're like, "Well, we look stupid now." But <laughs> yep. Uh... But no, this it it did way better than what anyone thought. I... Like, obviously, you had the people being like, you know, even with the fifty-five to sixty like average range, people mm -hmm. were putting that. It's just like. It wouldn't have bombed at that point because it's <laughs> said it yet again. It would have made more than Ant Man one, and guess what got a sequel? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's and again, I'm glad that a lot of people now. <laughs> it's funny because predictions going into this were it's gonna bomb, and they were ignoring the clear state of the world and the pandemic. But now those same people mm. and outlets are like. But it broke pandemic records, so imagine what it could have done without it. It's like, yes, that's what all of us normal functioning humans have been saying mm. this entire time. Like it's <laughs> It's like there's a Twitter account that does Bucks Office and people know exactly which one it is. 
And they're like, numbers don't care about pan like context. Da, 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 da. It's just like numbers mean absolutely nothing without context. Yeah. Like no. you can say it's the third lowest opening or whatever, or whatever you want. Uh, there's a lot of context behind it. And mm -hmm. all of the other lowest openings bar the incredible hulk got a sequel so what what exactly are you trying to say right like this is clearly going to get a sequel yeah. right? there's no i mean and iron about that whatsoever no this thing is a huge success and i mean we're talking about a huge success already without securing a chinese release date that right there yeah. is yeah. all you need to know about this yeah. film like i've seen so many people like that have the black panther effect obviously it would be more had this pandemic not existed, but there's just a lot of people being like, wow, an Asian American who's presented in a good light. And it's like, there's so much goodwill going for it that this film coming out right now, honestly, really, it, it shows the power of Marvel and representation, which mm. people can deny it, but people want it. People are ready for yeah. it. And, yeah. you know, yeah. it's. <laughs> now, you can hear it when you listen to like Simu talk about it. You, you can hear. Like even that when you talk to other Asian people, like you can just hear how important it is, mm -hmm. and it is on the you know it's the same level as Black Black Panther and Captain Marvel. Like people want these things, yeah. And no like fat neck bearded white dude saying, "Oh, no one wants this. Go won't go broke." <laughs> like they they don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, uh, what was telling to me like I made my video and just like an hour and a half after checking it on the one with Simu laughing at the haters. I explicitly stated in there, I'm like, look, if you listen to this podcast and what we say, you know we support equality for everybody, we support this film, and everybody should be represented. And I outright said, you know, you go F yourself if you don't support our message and unsub. We lost 28 subs while we gained an hour after 98 subs. So clearly our message, mm. we're trying to weed out the idiots <laughs> and bring in a good, more positive community. So it's clearly working to some degree and, you know, it is what it is. Um, people are willing to be more accepting in this film. The amount of people I saw in the theater, first and foremost, that were like, and I I haven't seen this to this degree before, but this was the film with the most female of age, like 18 to, I would say like 40 that I've ever seen at a movie theater for a Marvel movie. I don't know what yeah. it was with this, but my theater was overrun with females checking this movie out. There was actually in the first showing more females than there was males. So I was like, this is interesting. And Shay pointed it out to me. I was like, yeah, you're right. Like, I, I don't know. Something about this film has attracted everybody to it. So, you know, good on them. They've clearly I, done something. I wonder, I, w I wonder how much of it is the, uh, the, the opposite culture to China where Simu and Aquafina aren't considered attractive quite people right right yeah over here like when that came out over here or in the west everyone's like what the hell are they talking about <laughs> yeah like Simu's not an ugly guy and like, I was going on about yeah like, he's great he's got that the they part. both got that sort of attitude to them you're like you know your doofy friend mm. that you're just like yeah like, you know that it's like I, I love it speaking of that he like this isn't a slight against him in the slight it's going from Kim's convenience to this it's like yes. you're, you're playing the same person but I don't care because yeah. Jung in <laughs> Kim's convenience is fantastic. Oh, it's true. It's true. And I will say, I walked away from that film. My favorite character ended up being just like his sister, who, uh, no spoilers, but I can't wait to she see more needed, of her. She needed more to do. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's This is her, like, side origin build-up story. For yeah, the sequel, yeah. there's going to be way more, and I am so yeah. hyped for that. So, I mean, overall, look, this film, it did what it needs to. It did what it needs to and beyond for box office. So... When we have more to talk about in the upcoming weeks, we definitely will. Because mm. that's going to be the interesting point, right? Because people are going, oh, the second weekend is going to tank. Look at Black Widow. It's like, yeah, but you look at, like, Fast 9. And yeah. they had a comparable drop to Black Widow. It was only, like, 2% different. And look how much money. They both made, like, $500 million. So the only ones that haven't had that huge drop are the ones making less. That's a very loud noise. Is the jet that low and hovering? That was very loud. I think they're coming after me. I, this guy, he's, he's like a Chang Chi. Attack, attack. It's incel YouTube they're coming after you. They can afford a jet? What? <laughs> I'm, I mean, if certain movie director fans can afford what they do with money, then I'm certain the incels can afford a jet. 
as it turns out, it's just a little drone that has a jet noise attached <laughs> to it. They're trying to... It. It's scare tactics. <laughs> uh, what was that movie where they played Flight of the Valkyries out the helicopters? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, was but it I know... Apocalypse Now? <laughs> oh, that's what they're it's coming in at. It's a drone. It's a giant subwoofer out your window. Are you praising Shunky? <laughs> 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 Amazing. <laughs> Oh, this is great. This is great. <laughs> so yeah, um, trust us, guys. The second weekend, we're definitely going to discuss it because it's going to be interesting to see what it does. And once we know the numbers next week's podcast, it'll be a topic of discussion because mm. a lot is riding on that second weekend also, believe it or not. So oh, yeah. yeah. Now, now, I've got an interesting question. Someone in our Discord brought this up. Um, do you think, because they haven't said one way or another, when this hits Disney Plus in what 40 days or whatever it is mm -hmm. now that's going to be premiere access or just be straight up free if i was them i would play this smart premiere access 10 bucks <laughs> hmm. yeah you could yeah. pull in so many millions more than 30 and then after another 30 days just make it to everybody and put that out yeah. there being like hey wait you can pay right now 10 bucks to watch it or i don't know wait 30 more days and get it for free and people will do it but yeah, I think they can make a good amount. Because this is the thing, right? This is the big. At least the, I, I'm on the fence. That I think people can already guess on the side of the fence. People already know that they've left money on the table with this movie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like yes, it's made that much, and like I think this movie proves Black Widow didn't affect anything. No, the, the premiere access for that movie did not pay. Did not affect a single damn thing, and they've left at least sixty million on the table right there. Yeah, which how they're obviously going to use this movie in the, like, the settlement case or whatever, however far that goes with Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. And be like, look, this movie made this much without it. So, uh, kind of, like, clearly uh -huh. nothing really was that affected. The only thing affected is people not having gone to see it, because trust me, there's people that haven't gone to see this yet. Yep. Because they obviously don't want to go back, but, like... So I'm, I'm really wondering if they're like, we could have got a bit more out of this. If you look at how much Black Widow, like the 130 that we last yeah, heard of Black Widow yeah. Premier Access, that would they would have to make double that in a box office to get that same amount of money back. Right. With the split splits. So, eh, eh, is Eternals going to be Premier Access as well? Fingers crossed. I hope so. Mm, I mean, but, look, 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 I think second weekend, like I said, is going to dictate a lot of this. So. Mm. It's an interesting spot, and really, it is. it's an interesting conversation to be had because of this movie. Yeah, in a lot of ways, we're definitely going to talk about that because also going into November, December, we got the investors' calls and D Disney Plus yeah. Day now, so there's going to be a lot of stuff coming at us, which is going to kind of paint a picture on this. So, when we know more of it, we'll come back. Definitely, stay tuned for more Shang Chi discussion because 